This is a story all about Percy. And yes, he, he's a pot plant. Percy sat on the window ledge looking out of the window. He did this day after day after day, and as a result, he became very bored. <coughs> oh, it's so quiet in here, he said. You could hear a pin drop, a fly sneeze, or a mouse snore. <coughs> Look, why don't you take an interest in your surroundings, suggested Boris the book. So, so Percy did, or at least he tried, and this was when Percy started peeping. He peeped under the sofa and found an old sandwich. He peeped under the mat and found a letter marked urgent. He peeped under the chair, but didn't like what it was that stared back at him. I wonder what the rest of the house is like, he thought. But but he had a problem. He could only just reach the door. The door and not an inch more. Here, take this, said Boris, and handed Percy a large brown bottle. The label read, Super Grow Plant Food, Instructions Over Leaf. Oh, thank you, grinned Percy. And without bothering to read the instructions, he drank the whole bottle in one. <coughs> Silly Percy. At first, nothing happened. He, he looked rather green, but then plants always do. Oh, he exclaimed as the room started spinning. And then he grew... And he grew, and he grew, in and out of the chairs, across the table, and twice around the hat stand. He even grew around Boris, who, who wasn't amused. <coughs> Do you mind? See you later, Boris, said Percy, and found himself in the hall, looking at the stairs going up and up. Of course, he couldn't resist. He snaked his way up the banister, pushed open the door, and came face to face with Dorothy the Donut. D Dorothy was having her hair done. Today it was highlights and tints. <clears throat> um, do you have an appointment? barked Hilary the hairdryer. And not giving him any time to answer, she sat him down in a chair. Hmm, she sighed. His, his leaves are lank, his face is green, and he's out of condition. You're going to need a full makeover. Oh, poor Percy. They washed him. They trimmed him. They put him in rollers, then dried him. And that was only the first part. Then they creamed him, oiled him, rubbed him down and powdered him. And that was only the second part. Finally, they curled him, combed him, painted him and sprayed him until at last the job was done. <laughs> Scary peeping Percy. <coughs> Percy hightailed it down the stairs. He was just about to go back into his window sill when he spotted another door. Oh, just a peep, he thought. And gasped. <gasps> it was a room full of plants. Uh, uh, hello, I'm, I'm Percy, he announced. But the plants just screamed in fright. <coughs> Percy looked more like a monster 
well, to a daffodil, that is. The more he tried to explain, the worse things got, until suddenly, just what do you think you're doing? boomed Carlos, the cactus, feeling very, very prickly. Uh, just leaving? volunteered Percy, and just as Carlos was about to tie him up in knots, something strange happened. Percy shrank, <coughs> and, and shrank again. <coughs> Back through the door, along the hall to his normal size on the windowsill. <coughs> The super grow plant food had worn off. Oh, I'm so glad to be back, sighed Percy. And after that, things were different. He looked a sight with his painted face and curly leaves, but, but he never got bored again. Why? Because everyone from miles around would come and peep at him, and Percy, well, he rather liked it. The end. <laughs> <laughs>